for, for enduring this for a while um, is very, very important. Um, in the earlier part of the hearing, um, Director Comey said that it is not a company's job to worry about public safety. And I think that that is, would be very concerning for a company to send that message, given that we have technologies that impact people's everyday lives in so many ways. And I assume you agree with that, Mr. Sewell. I absolutely do. I do not subscribe to the position articulated by Director Comey. Um, I worked at two Silicon Valley companies, Sun Microsystems and Google. Um, that's certainly not what I saw at either one of them. Um, in the Brooklyn case decided yesterday, George, Judge Ornstein stated in his opinion that the world of the Internet of Things, all of the connected devices and sensors that we see coming forward, the government's arguments would lead quickly to a world of virtually limitless surveillance and intrusions on personal privacy. So I'd like to explore the issue of encryption and securing the Internet of Things a little bit. Um, we often talk about security by design when it comes to the Internet of Things. And I'm sure we can all imagine the horror stories of insecure Internet of Things types of devices, like appliances being hacked to the cause a fire, or spying through baby monitors, car, hacking into a car, or tampering with a home security system. So I'm wondering, um, um, Dr. Landau, I'm wondering if you could comment on what this means in the encryption context and whether directives we've heard from the FTC, for example, to adopt security by design in the interest of protecting consumers um, from malicious actors is inherently incompatible with what you might c call insecurity by design. Um, should that be mandated by the courts? Well, here you're in a situation where the companies often want to collect the data. Um, so, for example, if you're using smart meters, the company wants the data, the electric company wants the data to be able to tell your dishwasher, no, don't turn on at four in the afternoon when air conditioning requirements are high in Silicon Valley right now, turn it on at eight at night or, or, or 2 a.m. And so, in fact, it actually wants the individualized data. And if it has the individualized data, then uh, it can certainly share it with law enforcement under court order. Uh, the security by design is often in the Internet of Things uh, securing the data on the device and securing the transmission of the data elsewhere. The issue on the Apple phone is that the data stays on the device, and, the, and that's the, the conflict that we're having. Um, for the Internet of Things, it's most useful if the data goes off the device to somewhere else where it can be used in a certain way. And um, Mr. Sewell, could companies open themselves up to liability if vulnerabilities for law enforcement end up being exploited by a bad actor? I think that's absolutely true. Um, Somewhat ironically, I suppose, we have the FTC at this point actively policing the way in which technology companies deal with these issues. And, and we can be liable under the Section 5 or under the authority of the FTC if we fail to close a known vulnerability. Um, and Ms. Landau, you talked about the question of security versus security, or the issue of security versus security. Um, and that this really is a debate about security versus security. Could you explain a little bit more sure. why and are national security and cybersecurity incompatible in your opinion? Um, so what we really have here over the last 20 years, as I mentioned earlier, is you see the NSA and Snowden revelations aside, um, we don't have time for me to describe all of the, the, the subtle points there, but you really see the NSA working to secure private sector telecommunications infrastructure. Many, many examples. Um, we have moved to a world of electronic devices, you talk about the Internet of Things, that leak all sorts of data. Uh, and in order to protect ourselves, whether our, ourselves, our health data, our bank data, the locations of our children and so on, we need, um, we need encryption and so on. But, but if you think more broadly about the risks that our nation faces, um, and the, the, the risks of people coming in and attacking the power grid, people coming in and, and stealing data from whatever company and, and stealing patent information and so on. You see a massive national security risk, and you've been hearing it from General Keith Alexander, we've been hearing it from Hayden, we've been hearing it from Mike McConnell, we've been hearing it from uh, Chertoff, all the people who've been involved on the DHS and NSA side. Uh, the only thing that can secure that is security everywhere, and the, the move that Apple makes to secure the phones is one, one of the many steps we need in that direction. Thank you. My time's expired. I yield back, Mr. Chair. Thank you.